guys, today I'm going to be showing you a really exciting recipe. I'm going to be showing you how I make my 36 calorie brownies. This is kind of a variation or spin on the 88 calorie brownie that's so popular. I discovered that recipe back in 2007 and I absolutely love it, but I kind of tailored that recipe to this one right here, which is triple chocolate brownies, and um, for fun, I thought I'd add a special surprise inside. So I hope you guys enjoy this fabulous and figure-friendly dessert. To begin, we're going to start adding our applesauce. We're adding about a quarter of a cup of unsweetened applesauce to this. one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm using vanilla extract for this. Four egg whites. And one cup of sugar. Now here's the thing. If you want these brownies to be 36 calories, um, you're going to have to use like a stevia or a sugar substitute. Um, you can make these brownies with regular sugar, but just be warned, they'll be about the, the uh, standard 88 calorie brownies, which is not really bad at all. With the whisk, we're just going to mix these just until everything is combined. This is a very simple and easy recipe. You can whip these up in no time. All right, to this we're adding about a quarter of a cup of unbleached all-purpose flour. Next, you're gonna add your espresso powder or instant coffee. The original recipe calls for half a teaspoon, but I like a little bit more of that stronger mocha coffee flavor. So I added a whole teaspoon of the espresso powder into that. You, know, you can find that just in your coffee aisle. Very simple, easy to find. Uh, next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add your baking powder. And I'm adding half a teaspoon of that. For the show, we are adding cocoa. I'm adding two different types of cocoa in here today. This is a half a cup, but I took um, a quarter cup of dark cocoa, semi-sweet dark cocoa, and um, a quarter cup of regular cocoa. I'm just adding that all in there. These brownies are going to come out looking a lot darker because of the special dark Hershey cocoa that I added in there. It's going to be really delicious. And now we're just mixing this up. Be careful. Don't make a mess like I'm making right now. Mix this very gently until well combined, making sure there are no lumps. I'm then going to go in for uh, an easier stir and use just a spatula like this. Gently mixing everything together. Make these brownies a little bit more interesting. You can see that batter is quite dark. It's a little bit darker than the traditional um, brownie batter. But to make these a little bit more interesting, I wanted to take it a step further and I am adding some dried tart cherries to these. This is about a quarter of a cup that I chopped up. Now once your batter is nice and um, mixed up, no lumps remaining, just you know add your cherries to this. You can add dried pomegranates, dried cherries, um, really anything you want to. I just love the taste of a dark chocolate and um, like a cherry or a pomegranate. It's so delicious. So um, yeah, we're just going to put this in a little pan now. And I'm using a non-stick uh, butter spray for this, like Pam. Gonna pour our brownie batter in. Honestly, I know I should be using a smaller um, pan for this because they look quite pathetic in this big old um, baking dish. However, I packed all my pans away. I just kept one or two out just for, you know, baking. So I love making my own desserts, cakes, and little sweets here and there. You guys know how I do it. <laughs> So I'm just going to, there you go, and it does look a little bit lumpy, that's because we have the cherries in there. Uh, now we are adding another exciting ingredient. We are just adding some dark, semi-sweet mini chocolate chips to this, this. This is a quarter of a cup, and just evenly try to disperse the chips. You know, you can get really creative with this. You can add a little swirl of peanut butter for more of a devilish kind of dessert. Be aware though, 
added the peanut butter does add a little bit more fat and calories, but you know, it's really easy to get creative with these brownies. So I'm going to put this in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for approximately 20 to 22 minutes. 22 minutes later, I have chocolate perfection right here. As you can see, the brownie is actually significantly darker than the chocolate chips, the little mini chocolate chips. Uh, but yeah, absolutely delicious. And again, the only thing I would do is use a, uh, a cake pan or a brownie pan that is a little bit smaller because these look a little bit wimpy in this little tiny thing right here. But uh, these definitely do not skimp on taste. And the best part about it is you can have two of these and still keep it very figure friendly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fabulous and figure friendly brownie recipe and I will see you in my next video.